Hi guys, it's me, but Mikey BJD again uh, with another video. Uh, hopefully, I'm able to upload this one. I haven't been able to the last few days, so I'm trying again. So fingers crossed that this works. I've been working on a few things, and Lucas is one of them. He got. Tattoos, restrung, suede, a nipple piercing. I modge podged two little studs on there. So, yeah, he's starting to come along real good. And the body blushing, I did blush him up. It's pretty white actually when he came in so that and the tattoos that I use are actually temporary tattoos um, and I seal them for permanence and so these are some of the ones I used on them I just find ones that I like and um, go ahead and get those. I seal first, of course. Um, I blushed him first, and then I sealed him. And then I went in with his tattoos. Now, don't be in a hurry. Be by a wa water source. Um, and be patient because it takes a minute for them to adhere and for it to slide off so otherwise you'll rip your decal to bits and then you'll be sad and mad and scrubbing it off and starting over so but you can scrub it off and start over that's the joy of it um, let's see here, Emma's tattoos are actual temporary tattoos as well, but I sealed them for permanence three times, and I use Rust-Oleum Clear Matte Sealer, so yeah. She got tattoos that way. This little baby's flower on her head is a temporary tattoo. So, yeah, there are actually, if you're not, I'm not like Sarah in that respect that I, you know, I, I have a hard time with that one. So, I'm not fine-tuned in that yet, in that aspect. Um, as far as other projects, been doing a little more on her, and she's turning out really cute. Really cute. I really like her. So, she's going to be uh, going into my diorama, so I did three. One I gave to Amber, Kohaku Creations. Um, then another one I'm gonna gift, and so yeah. And then I have other heads that I'm gonna, they need cleaned up, of course. They've been in storage and stuff. And so, yeah, I'll get those um, cleaned up, and we'll start painting them like these. Uh, I was kind of inspired by the painted wig stands in the bigger scale, so, yeah. And here, I'm doing a little gift for Libby. It's a work in progress. I haven't done the handle yet or any of the 
other pieces, but yeah, that's the progress so far. It went from white, so I painted it black, and then I start going in with my tones, and I kind of seal it a few times as I'm going along. That way, you know, it is fragile, but it won't be as fragile, and it won't chip, and she can have fun with it that way, so that'll be cool. And, uh, Shelby, I noticed you wanted to add streaks to one of your dolls. This is what I use. It's a graffiti fabric marker. I really like these. They work good. And they come in a wide array of colors. Because synthetic hair doesn't really take dye well, but see I was able to do these streaks, those lime streaks with that. And she also has tattoos, the temporary tattoos as well. So it works on Barbie friends too, if you want to try it as well. So, little tricks. See, she's got a big one on her back. Full back piece, so. Yeah, you just want to watch scale and location. Don't put them close to joints, in the neck area, anywhere where you're going to have movement going on. And you should be safe. Um, I have not had any chip off, knock on wood. Um, so, that's good. And, went to Target the other day. And I found Yomi finally. And if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen her. But not with glasses yet. I got those from Walmart. It's their version. And then she's got a nose stud. And then I did little studs on the on this part right here. To make it a little more realistic. The hat is doll heart. You know, they have the crazy outrageous hats, so and it fits her really well, so I'm gonna get her Mary Jane's or boots. Um because they're about pull up size the um shoes and the feet on them, so we should be good there. Uh, I went thrifting the other day. And I found a Rapunzel, and she was in dreadlocks, and I took her, and she still has a slight bit of frizz. I think I'll go ahead and dip the ends, uh, do a boil with fabric softener in the water. That really helps with the frizz. So, but for the most part, she turned out really cute, and she is really cute. So, got her, my first animator, um, yeah, my first animator, uh, I do have some of the Disney, actually quite a few of the Disney, um, exclusives, those are really cool. I, I really enjoy those. Um, let's see. What else? This is a project I did a little while back. And she was a ponytail. And I picked her up for $15. Now, she's a reproduction, and uh, you guys, reproductions don't go for much. Um, in fact, a lot of the collector's editions now don't go for much anymore. Um, so, Playline, though, Playline goes up. Um, 
collector line because of um, the way it is um, and most people keep them in the boxes uh, they go down significantly so when I hear of one for like 30 45 65 <sighs> yeah no no they're not worth it now if they're a silk stone silk stones are highly desirable um, they're kind of Barbie's version of our resin friends as far as the weight um, when you lift a, a regular Barbie and you lift a silk stone there is definitely a difference um, I noticed Sam Picaro got a silk stone the other day and I, it made me smile because she said gotten got bitten by the um, Barbie bug well that happened 20 years ago and uh, for me it actually started with a Titian ponytail Barbie and uh, I bought her for a dollar um, she was a little she needed her ponytail restored and things like that but for the most part she was pretty decent we touched her lips um, her nails things like that cleaned her up really good with uh, formula 911 by Twin Pines um, that is the most excellent cleaner it cleans the time grime tar dirt debris um, and there have been times now on the rubbery part you can use acetone as a last measure um, but I would not use that on the plastic the um, PVC I believe is what they use for a plastic um, it will melt it so don't um, do that but otherwise yeah um, I've been having fun with those as well restoring them uh, finding them along the way a little less expensive that way um, and it gives you a sense of pride when you're done with a project so yeah um, I've just been working on my BJD family uh, I have heads that I need bodies for I think uh, I'm definitely gonna go resin soul babobi um, on one or both of my boys um, of course the Miro doll alien head um, I will get a 68 centimeter uh, boy body in white skin so that all matches together too and then Amber's supposed to be making an outfit so I'm like yeah I'm pretty excited about that because kind of gave her some ideas of kind of what we were looking for and what kind of character so yeah that it should be fun and that'll be future too. Yeah, and then I have to get some MSD bodies because I have a Carter head coming in. I have my Angel of Dream skeleton to put together. So, yeah, I've got a few projects along the way. So I want to get this stuff completed before I really move forward with anything else. And I did place an order with Five Star Doll for a Miss S doll. So I'll be doing an unboxing on that. So, well, you guys, I want you to have an excellent evening. And I will talk to you soon. Bye now.